Hello everybody, I'm Marzen64. If this looks familiar to you, then you are either a fan of me and have been watching me for a while, or a fan of the XCOM series. In which case, good job, I am too. The XCOM series is a very, very good series, and I will be continuing it. I did XCOM UFO Defense a long time ago. It really wasn't that great of a Let's Play, but it's one of my more popular ones. Probably because XCOM is such a classic. It's a cult classic of a game. So now, I think it's about time we do the sequel. Mars, the fall of Cydonia. In the last episode, we went to Mars and uh, destroyed the aliens. The giant mother brain that was trying to kill everyone on Earth. Or like, I don't know. They're trying to do something to us. Take us over, I think. But we won. So, all good with that. Totally didn't cheat or anything. No idea what you're talking about. Uh-oh. I wonder what that could be. Looks like that thing from... What's that movie? Oh my goodness. Is, is it the Rift? Apparently we have an underwater experimental facility. I don't know why anyone would ever think that's a good idea. I mean, I guess exploring and researching the ocean is awesome. Believe me, I'm a fan of oceanography, but like, an XCOM facility? Yeah, the aliens will totally live under the water. Except, they do! So, whoever was drunk and decided this was a good idea to build an underwater XCOM facility, props to you, you probably saved the world. Airlock clear. I like how I'm just kind of talking through this. Yeah! This game has a much more creepy feel to it. Welcome to Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. We are starting a new game, and because I am horrible at these games, I'm a beginner. Let's go ahead and uh, make our game be around, if it would scroll up. Scroll up? Oh, I'm used to it scrolling a lot. Um, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's, let's start on Bermuda. We are the Atlantic Branch. The Atlantic Branch! We are the Atlantic Branch! And, uh, first things first. You may be looking at this game and being like, this looks exactly like XCOM. It is very, very, very similar to XCOM, but in many ways, it is different. It has new features. It could almost be considered an expansion pack to the original XCOM big game, but whatever. We're going to uh, start similarly to how we started before, at least if I remember correctly. I haven't played the game. I mean, I, I, I haven't. It's been a long time since that Let's Play. Let's just put it like that. Let's build that. We build an alien containment. And, uh. One more living quarters. Boop. Alright. Then we gotta look at things to build. I mean, excuse me, buy. We want. Two more Aquanauts, 15 scientists, and uh, we don't need any technicians right now. And then some weaponry, we want a few of these bolts, let's buy five. Um, where are they? Some chemical flares, let's buy ten of those. And two thermal tasers. Yeah, I guess that'll be good. Alright. Now, we have to look at our Aquanauts. Oh man, I should've... I'm going to have like a list of names. Most of these are going to be names of, of uh, from games that I've Let's Played. So, first off, will be Erst McDwarf. He is a, uh... Ooh, he's got some good stats on him. Wow. Not the strongest guy, but wow, this guy's awesome. Good job, Urist. You get a gold star. Mark Dujardin is also not bad. 
but he could use a bit more firing accuracy, let me tell you that. This guy will be Sonic. Helga, wow, you are a brave mofo. Uh, you can be... What are some things I've let's played? You can be Mario. <laughs> oh, you're a lady. Oh. <laughs> you can be Curly Brace. I'm mostly doing these off of uh, games that I've let's played. If you want to be a soldier, just go ahead and ask, and I will throw you in here. This person's got good stats all around. No one with terrible, terrible stats yet. I don't know if this is a girl or a guy, so... <laughs> Mario. Uh, Lisa. That is definitely of the female persuasion, so... We can go ahead and call... What's a good lady from a game? Samus. Boop. Klaus Meyer. It's, it's a little sad when you can't remember games that you've let's played. Let's call it Link. And Virgil. Ah, uh, Virgil. We had to have one guy who's not that great. Hmm. When I say not that great, by the way, I'm mostly looking at the bravery stat. That's a stat that really is really a big deal. Uh... I am, like, drawing a million blanks right now. Uh... Donkey Kong. Boof! Oh, more? Come on, guys. I mean, okay, yeah, I guess as many soldiers as I can have is good. I'm currently doing Chrono Trigger, at least. I haven't uploaded any of the videos yet. I spelled Chrono's name wrong. <laughs> well, I spelled it how it's supposed to be, but in the actual Chrono Trigger game, you, there's like a character limit, so they had to make it Chrono without an H. Anyway, yeah, I think that's about good. Uh, next, we have to look at what we want to research. This game is a balance between researching things to keep ahead of the aliens as they get slowly stronger and send out stronger dudes. And, uh, it's a balance between researching things, manufacturing those things, and finding and shooting down aliens. And then sending out your soldiers to recollect the items. And there are also miss missions such as terror missions where the aliens will attack cities or ships that are just floating around. All that kind of stuff. Because this game's underwater, so, uh, there's ships and coastal cities and stuff. First thing we want to research is Gauss technology, which is the uh, secondary technology, kind of like the laser technology that was available at the beginning. And this is the, uh, this is the screen that's just, okay. I don't know why that's popping up. We're just like right off the coast of Bermuda. This is the screen that we'll be looking at a lot throughout the game. It's the, uh, the geoscope. You just go ahead and set it to about 30 minutes to an hour. Ah, we found an alien sub, but it was touched down. So let's go ahead and send out our Triton, which is akin to our Sky Ranger, which it carries our people. Let's also send the Barracuda in case it jumps up, which it very well might. Nope. Alright. Let's begin the mission. Now, one thing to learn about that this game is difficult. This game is freaking hard. Like, you thought the original XCOM was difficult? <laughs> no! That was a cakewalk. You see, what happened... Let's go ahead and give Chrono two guns. What happened was that, uh, the original XCOM had a bug that wasn't fixed for a little while, where, basically, let's just have Urs come out and kneel. Oh, t god damn it. <laughs> Frick. Okay, but... There was a bug in the original XCOM that wasn't fixed for a little while. Let's always have this set up. Where... Uh... How do I put this? Like, even if you were on the hardest difficulty, 
after the first mission, it would automatically switch to the easiest difficulty. So, people complained that the game was way too easy. So, they were like, okay, let's fix that. And they made it exceptionally difficult. Even though it was a glitch. Alright, so as you can see, this is similar to XCOM, although we are underwater and not up, not underwater. Where else would we be? In a cityscape? Ha! That's silliness. Don't even, don't even joke. If I'm doing the XCOM series, I am going to have to do Apocalypse, and I'm not really looking forward to that. <laughs> that's the, that's the third one. That's what I like to call the uh, black sheep of the series. Donkey Kong, if you would walk out there, that would be nice. I clicked on the mouse like eight times. There we go. Uh, and Chrono, go ahead and walk on the wings of the Sky Ranger. Except it's more like the Ocean Ranger. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Okay, Neil. There's hidden movement. It's a turn-based game, which means that we can move all of our dudes and then wait, and then the aliens will move all of their dudes. I found a sub really early on. God, flapjacks! I always do that. <laughs> I always, like, accidentally misclick when using people, and then they just, like, walk over where I don't want them to be. It wastes valuable time points. Time units. Same thing, right? Now, you may be wondering, Marzen, why are you doing this and not Chrono Trigger? Well, as I said, I am doing Chrono Trigger. I just haven't uploaded any videos yet, and I'm a little lazy. And then, the other reason that I'm doing this is because... Let's have you kneel. It's because, well, I've been playing uh, the new XCOM game, actually. And that game is pretty good. And then you may be asking, Marzen, why aren't you doing that one? Why are you doing this old, boring, lame, and then I bitch slap you and tell you to shut up? Except I don't. This game, do not, do not question this game. It's, uh, it's not don't question this game. It's just like, I want to do them in order, you know? If I eventually do the new XCOM game, which I very well might, then I'd like to do all of them up to it. Because I own all of them. I actually haven't played any of them after Apocalypse, but I own them. Alright, Sonic, I'll just leave you in here. I haven't played an XCOM game, an original XCOM game, let me say, for a while, actually. Okay, so we have to be actually very, uh, very cautious here, because it was a touchdown sub and not a shot down sub, so the chances are very high, as in, like, 100% that the dude is just wandering around here. Why a sub touched down here just for the hell of it? I will never know. And I don't, I don't know what some of these things are. Like, what the hell is this? Oh, is this a, this is a crashed. Oh, that's a wing. Okay, this is a crashed. Uh... What's with all these sunken things just out here? It's, it's a crashed plane. <laughs> Those are wings. But, what was I... Oh. This, this map is huge. These maps in this in this game are much bigger than the ones in uh, the original XCOM. It's also pretty damn annoying in that case. Especially when we get to the alien base missions. Oh my dear god. Those are humongous. And... There are so many problems. This game is fun, but it has its problems. Don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure there was, like, akin to the glitch where, uh, it's always on easy mode. Pretty sure that in the original one of this, there was a glitch, except it was the exact opposite. So, you, you go on easy mode, and then after the first mission, it automatically goes to super duper, oh my god, impossible difficult. Except I know someone who beat that. So, uh, you, he actually let's play it too. Go ahead and go give Lord Finisher a look, because he's already let's played this game and the original game. 
he did a deep sea pacific challenge i'm pretty sure it was on superhuman actually it might have not been on super the original one that he did definitely was on superhuman i'm not really i don't really remember it was like two years ago oh there's a dude over there scope it out samus over there somewhere. Samus may be dead. I'm going to need you to kneel because, never mind, you might be dead. Uh, Chrono, go ahead and rush your way over there to help out. I swear it came from, like, right here. <laughs> Maybe we should have... We should have waited for, like... At least it's a tiny sub. We, we didn't wait for all the uh, the stuff that I bought to come in, which is a little crappy, but... Okay, good thing they're crap. Oh! Holy jeez! Oh my goodness! They killed both Chrono and Samus with the most bullshit shot I have ever seen. Those douchebags. Okay, he's hiding somewhere in that wreckage over there. That was bull. Okay, well, we're going to need to buy at least two people. <laughs> Poor Samus and Chrono. Someone, someone play the bagpipes. That's not how you play the bagpipes. Alright, go ahead and kill Link, because I know you're gonna. Or not. Okay. At least there will only be like two aliens because it's a super tiny sub. It was probably just like a scout. I like how these aliens just shoot everything that moves. Like I'm just walking down here like I could just be a scuba diver and boom I'm dead. I'm pretty sure he disappeared and like ran into the sub. Except I would have freaking seen him so th I was stupid of turning my back. Turn back your back. Who are you and what are you doing? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Urus McDwarf, run over here. In the original game, you took damage from smoke, but in this one you don't because, understandably, you don't breathe it in? You're kind of underwater. There's an alien! Oh wow, it's an aqua. Wow. I'm pretty sure these are called Aquamen. And uh, that was terrible. Run. You may be dead. Um. Curly brace, try your hand. We're using crappy ass gas canisters. Oh my god, not enough time units. Okay, take a snapshot. Um, I had you on that? and then it disappeared, because that's dumb. So let's just go ahead and hide you. You may be dead, whoever you are. Go ahead and take a shot. Jesus, take the wheel. Oh. Okay, well Link, run in the opposite direction probably still shoot you there. Unless he's like, oh, unless he is a terrible shot, in which case, thank Batman, let's kill him. Please, just walk up to him and shoot him, actually. <laughs> Go, Donkey Kong. I really shouldn't be letting you have this shot. Actually, just do a snapshot. I don't want to waste gas canisters. Not that I'm really going to use them for a while. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One shot didn't do it. Okay, then. Curly Brace, please take this over. And do not shoot Donkey Kong in the back. That guy took like three gas canisters to go down. Wow. Please tell me that wasn't just one guy. No, there might be a guy in the sub. Okay then. <laughs> then don't Donkey Kong, it might not be a good idea to have your back to the sub. Go ahead and kneel down. 
If when you kneel, it increases the uh, chance that they will both aim well. Oh, that's why it was that random ass explosion. I'm going to assume there's someone in there. Either that or why did that explode? Okay, um, whatever. I hope Urs doesn't die. He was a really good looking soldier. He's so good looking with that fine, fine beard made of cats. Okay, Mario. You go ahead and explore over here, too, because if there's an alien in there, we really can't see him through the smoke. It would be much better if only we had done this during the day. That would have been smart. Okay, Curly Brace. There are two people in this sub. Go ahead and take a shot. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Okay, get the hell out. I do not give a care. You get out. <laughs> Alright. Next up, Donkey Kong. Take an aim shot. Because I don't want to destroy anything. Well, at least it, it, it worked. Good on you. Get the hell out. Link. Go ahead and uh, take an aim shot. Good on ya, is that everyone? No, there's still someone hanging around, which they probably means they're like over here where we were getting shot at before. So go ahead and put on this and just walk up. Yes, put on this. It's a tutu. It's a frilly pink tutu. It would look great on you underwater. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, go up some stairs. Okay, it looks like we can we can see up there, so really don't need to be going in here. It might have just exploded because the other thing exploded and fire spread, even though we are underwater. There are a lot of guys cramped up in that sub. At least four. Hopefully this guy is peeing his pants in here, so he won't shoot at Donkey Kong as he romps around. Donkey Kong's like, where are my bananas? And you get shot at. That's what you get, Donkey Kong. You get no bananas. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Alright, Mario, you're going first. It doesn't even look like I'm able to go up anymore. <laughs> See, this is one of the problems with this game. Is that you just... With, with, with this one is when they're bigger when the maps are way bigger which they are these guys hide and you have no idea where they are and it just takes forever this is already like a 30 minute episode 20 minutes whatever the hell it's 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 an it's an exceptionally long episode of me walking my dudes around okay walk over this way i guess i don't give a crap anymore walk. I swear I had more dudes than this. There you are! This is a perfect place to hide out. <laughs> kudos. Many, many kudos. But you should be dead. Yeah! We win! We got an okay rating because two of our dudes died. And we that, that was a tiny sub, so we really didn't get that much. We get Link is our new ensign, which means that he is kind of like the leader of this group right now. Okay, so let's just go ahead and continue to have the time fly. We got some bolts, some thermal tasers, and chemical flares. Also, I need to buy two new dudes. Also, let's buy about five technicians. Wait, did I actually... I don't know if I clicked cancel or not. I 
I don't know where I can see that either. Okay, yeah, I did. Good. I mean, I, I, I did actually buy them. Okay. <laughs> what, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was equipping the submarine. Equipping. That's how you say that, right? No, it is not! Um... Let's put in two more jet harpoons. Get rid of these dart guns. They were they were exceptionally useless. I should have done this in the first place. Um We don't need that many. Oh, not enough store space. I need to build more stores. Okay, put on two thermal tasers, ten chemical flares. Uh, that should be good. And then let's build a facility, general store. Okay, let's just wait for our research to be done, or another alien ship to pop up. Wow, well, that. Okay, there we go. Let's view the reports. We got the Gauss Pistol, which we can research. So let's go ahead and allocate research. We want Gauss technology as soon as possible because it is exceptionally better than gas can technology. I wish these freaking scientists would pop up. Let's make it to an hour. There they are! Now the reason I'm not buying crap tons of uh, scientists and stuff right off the bat, you may be like, why are you, why aren't... Yeah. We, did, we have limited funds, which only pop up once per month. And we can sell stuff to make money, but... Eh. And the more scientists we have, the more they will cost each month. We, we don't... We don't just buy these people as slaves at one cost. They, we're, we hire them. It's a monthly wage. I don't know why you have to pay them, like, a giant staple sum right off, but whatever. Uh, we got two new dudes. Oh, Hurst was wounded. I had no idea. <laughs> okay, your name will be Diddy. And Boris... God, I wish I played 007 now. Um... <laughs> Your name will be Skull Kid. Wait, I haven't done that yet. God damn it. Uh... Well, technically I've done... Yeah. Skull Kid was in Ocarina of Time. Uh, he looks like an okay soldier. Yeah, wow, that's a good soldier. Good job. Okay. We'll go ahead and, uh... Slap him onto the submarine. Flip-flop. How long is it Urs going to be wounded? Because he's going to be useless otherwise. That's one of the most annoying freaking things. 29 days! That's one of the most annoying things in this game. Is when, like, your really good soldiers get wounded and then they have to wait for 30 days for them to not be wounded. It's so obnoxious. The newer game really fixed that. Okay, we got five technicians. We don't really have anything to build yet. Let's go ahead and buy five more scientists. We don't have enough living space. That's why. That's another reason. We were working on that. Um. Okay. Let's equip the submarine. Sub submarine. With these people. Oh. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> there we go. And then also name them. Uh. And then after that, I think I'm going to call it a video. I'm going to need to- oh, you are a bad soldier. Um, I'm going to need to name these. I'll make make a list of names based off of my Let's Plays. Your name will be... Death Pony. And Tatiana will humorously be Ronald McDonald. Wow, you got you're a sniper. I should start naming these people based off of what they are. Sniper. S. And I'll work on that later. I'll do that off screen. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I will. Might as well. So, 
Anyway, this is our current Aquanaut list. We don't really have many people who got and gained any ex experience from last episode, but I mean, last the last thing, but you know, Curly Brace. Who's our enzyme? Link is our enzyme, which is weird. You would have thought Donkey Kong would be. He killed some people. The more Aquanauts you have, the more uh, the more Aquanauts you have the more, the higher ranks you can reach. For example, we can't have, like, everyone be an Enzyme, because we only have, like, ten people. So, the more people we have, understand, you, you get it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play XCOM Terror from the Deep. See you all next time.